Hey everyone, it's uh, Carl again, and today I want to talk about setting up Foundry uh, with Adventure Cards, or the Adventure Deck from Savage Worlds. I did a video earlier on uh, setting up Savage Worlds, and I think I forgot to put this one in. Uh, so let's do that, uh, knowing that, of course, um, Foundry isn't the greatest with cards right now, but uh, we can make it work and uh, use rolling tables and journal entries to make our our card deck um, for our adventure cards. It's a savage world, strange as a weird war. It's a savage world, classics to explore. Again, uh, this is Carl with Tabletop Tango. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, that would be awesome. But let's go ahead and get right into it. So we want to take the adventure cards, um, an adventure deck, and get it into Foundry so we can use it in our Savage Worlds game. Easy to do, um, I do it so that it's much more efficient. So let's figure out how to do that. So first thing we wanna do is to get the assets. So we wanna get the physical images of the card deck. And you can do that um, by going to Pinnacle and downloading their Savage World Virtual Tabletop Action, Adventure, and Power Cards. Uh, so you download that zip, you'd buy it, download it, um, you'd uh, ex uh, extract it. And when you're all done extracting it, you get to a point where you have um, this folder, you'll have a folder in your um, download. Um, let's get to the right page here. So you'll get um, in your download, you'll have these power status adventure cards. So you'll have all these folders and the folder we care about is the adventure folder. And this has all of your decks, your cards in it. And we're gonna copy that folder into our world. So as you know, in Foundry, we keep, they keep the data in a worlds folder. Um, so we can go and look at that. So if we go into our Foundry installation where it's installed, under data, there's a worlds folder. And under worlds is where you have all your unique games. Um, in my case, my game's called Test SW for my Test Savage Worlds where I was doing the setup and demonstration. And then what we're going to do is in that, where we have our data pack, scenes, everything, we're going to copy and paste that adventure folder, that entire folder, just as you unzipped it. Um, and so now we'll have that in and we'll have all of those cards that we downloaded, those assets um, that we downloaded from PEG um, and all their glory. And now we can go ahead and try to get those into, um, into Foundry to be able to use them. So how are we going to do that? So first thing we're going to do is, um, well, actually, the first thing we need to do is we need a script because I'm going to automate doing this because it's such a pain to in, in, to include 53 cards and go through it manually. So I'm actually going to grab a script. Um, so if you go, and I'll have a link, but if you go to my GitHub um, under Foundry Virtual Tabletop, I have a script called Import Adventure Deck. Um, and then if we go and we look at the raw file, we can go ahead and you can copy this entire piece here. If we right click, we can do a copy and then we can get into Foundry. And then we can go ahead and create this, this macro. So you'd create a macro. I've already got it in here, but then you would paste that in as a script and then we'd have a macro uh, to import. But what is the macro gonna do? I think that's the important part. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a series of journal entries that have the images of the cards. And then that series of journal entries we're gonna turn into a rollable table, which will then be the deck uh, that we use. So for my script to work, um, it's, it's really, it's simple. I mean, it's designed just to be able to do a quick import. It's not anything fancy. So the first thing you need to do is make sure your path is right. And you can see here that it matches worlds, my world name. So you're gonna to have to change that to whatever your world's name is. Um, and then at the adventure, which is the folder where the adventure cards are. Then you need to give it a folder um, that you're gonna create in the journal, a journal folder, and I'm gonna call it deck. Um, and then it goes through and it, basically pulls together all and makes all those uh, um, labels, um, file names that are going to be folded into and pulled from. So let's go ahead and we need to create our folder and we're going to call it deck. And we're going to create the folder. And so now we've got a folder and that's where all the cards are going to go. And then just executing the macro um, will import all those cards. 
And so I clicked on the macro, it ran, imported all the cards as journal entries. And so now we have all those cards in as journal entries and we didn't have to go through and manually create 53 journal entries, which would have been just a nightmare to do. So now to turn it into a deck, it's very simple. All we need to do is right click, create a rollable table. And now we have a rollable table that has all of our cards in it. Um, and it's called deck. Uh, so if we want to roll and get an adventure card, hand one out to a player, we just click on roll. And then here's our adventure card that we just rolled for the player that we can give to the player. Now, um, you can't take journal entries and put them on and give them to the character like you can an item. So one thing that I do is I have landing pages where the characters can go. They have permissions to go there anytime. And so that might have pictures of their player character. And so when we roll the adventure card, I can just drag it out. Um, you know, we can call it, you know, Chuck's card. And we can put that on the landing page. Um, so it's always there um, for Chuck. And when it's time for him to use it, he can take, he can double click on it, read it, what have you. And when we play it, we delete it um, from the page. And then we can create the next one. We can roll the next one when we draw a new adventure deck, an adventure card. And it's as easy as that. And that is all that takes to take the adventure cards, um, assets, get them into Roll20, make a rollable table that is now your card deck, and to start handing them out to players. Well, anyway, simple stuff, um, but still useful, I hope. Uh, again, I'm Carl. Uh, if you liked it, like, subscribe. We do a lot of things, um, talk about RPGs in general, and often I'll do a little something about Savage Worlds because that's my favorite game. So we'll talk to you later. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye. It's a savage.